saying that's that's exactly that's where you want to put shot. a bullet. Yep. Perfect shot. It don't get any better than that, man. Congratulations. Probably What a dream buck. I mean, this is obviously the biggest buck I've ever got. I've never. It's all worth it. This is part of it. Every trip I go on is special to me, but some are even more special than others. This week, I got to reconnect with one of my closest friends from college, a friendship that's lasted over 30 years. We were taking his young son Garrison on his first ever hunt in the great state of Texas. I am Ezekiel Bambolo. I live in Bothell, Washington with my family. Born and raised in Liberia, West Africa. And Aaron and I, for example, connected my, he was one of my first ever friends when I came to this country, the United States. And it's been almost coming on 30 years, whatever it is, and we have been uh, like brothers. And so uh, the experience, especially when it comes to being somewhere like this to hunt out here in Texas, um, this is not something that we do regularly, but I loved hunting as a boy. My father was an avid hunter. But I did more of hunting with my dogs, you know, and doing things like that. And, uh, but I've been here in the U.S. really haven't had, uh, haven't taken the time, I should say, to hunt as much. So this is an experience that is uh, just about second to none and bringing back a lot of great memories about things that I love to do. And now I have a son that I get to share that experience with. We fish a lot, we like to do some things in the outdoors. We just haven't done the hunting thing. So I think we're starting a new adventure. Well, this trip right here is uh, an op great opportunity to bond with my son Garrison. Um, being a father, especially in today's world, uh, you know, we missed the opportunity to get in the outdoors and then happen to have a great friend in uh, Aaron Throckmorton with Giving Back TV that uh, gives me a great opportunity to kind of to just reconnect in, in a beautiful way. So this is a full experience of bond with my son, hunting something that I haven't done in a very long time. I had as much time to do, but at the same time, uh, make some memories for life. Hi, my name is Garrison Gambolo and I live in Bothell, Washington. Uh, I'm, an 11, I'm 11 years old and I go to CPC. Shout out to Mr. Long's class. Uh, it's actually really fun. We haven't got any, well, we, we shot a pig, couldn't find it, but so far it's been really fun. Um, before coming to Texas, my, my my hunting experiences have been hunting bunnies in my backyard with my BB gun. Uh, this is one of my first big game hunts. Um, just being able to bond with my dad and get to know uh, one of his really good friends who I could be able to call my uncle, which is really fun to be able to go on this trip. Um, on this trip, we're going for a white-tailed buck, white-tailed doe, maybe an axis deer, depending on how we feel, and a hog and raccoon and yeah, and some, if we see a coyote or a bobcat, we'll probably go after that. It's kind of hard to see it. That's what I'm saying. Are you hunched over? You can't, can you use No, I got it. It's just, you have to get it right in there. Are you ready for that? Yeah. After going to the range to make sure that rifle was on, our guide Josh took us to a blind for the evening hunt. 
Now Garrison had both a buck tag and a doe tag in his pocket, and it didn't take long until the whitetail started to show up. Oh, there's a buck, there's a buck. Solid buck right there. That might have been the tour, but that, that looks like a solid buck. After Garrison's shot, that doe ran to our left and we lost sight of her. Now we weren't sure if she just disappeared in the tall grass and got away, or if she had went down. So Bam and Garrison got out of the blind, headed over to the last place they saw her, and it was a short tracking job to find Garrison's first big game trophy. So we were looking for a, uh, a, a doe, doe in the fields. We saw one and we didn't have much time, so I took the shot for a long shot, killed him. He ran over here, dropped dead right there, came over here and found him. Kind of he had a, off he put, my guy put blood on my face. That's what you gotta do. Is that your first deer ever? Yeah. Oh, there's a lot more you gotta do. You just hold on. Congratulations. Yes, sir. Look at that, man. That's what, is awesome. what a perfect shot. I mean, that's more. exactly where you want it. After you can't get any better than that shot right there. Wait, there was like one bug. I meant not one. No, no, no. There were two doe, and I was following one, but I got too scared to shoot. So the next one came, and a gun got jammed, so I oh. reloaded the gun. <laughs> I put it back out, and I saw this one, and I shot it. Line drama. Man, that's that's exactly that's where you want to put shot. a bullet. Yep. Perfect shot. It didn't get any better than that, man. Congratulations. Probably, about, probably we think probably about 80, 90 yards. We heard y'all shoot right after yeah. he shot. Yep. yep. That's awesome, man. Good meat. <laughs> sure is. All right, you grab the front legs. I'll grab the back. No, you got to make him do it. Oh. Yep. Ah, <laughs> oh, no, it wasn't bad. What are you talking about? You're the biggest 11 year old in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, Pop. Another added bonus on this trip was taking Bam and Garrison to meet my good friends Paul and Monica. Now they have a ranch that was about an hour from where we were hunting. Garrison got to see a lot of different animals and even got a hands-on experience with some of the babies that they were raising.
That evening, we went to another blind to see if we could help Bam get a pig. Now, Texas is overrun with hogs, and most of them are nocturnal. This blind, though, they said was being hit pretty consistently. Unfortunately for us, all that showed up that night were whitetails. That next morning, we went back to the same blind where Garrison took his doe the day before. We wanted to see if we could help him fill his buck tag. Now deer were showing up right at daylight, and it didn't take long before a good buck showed up. That buck stayed hidden behind that brush pile for what seemed like an eternity. We'd see glimpses of him, but he was really content just to stay out of sight. He's, he's right there. He's standing. Where? He's going down. He's down. Safety, son. Safety. <laughs> Let's go. Say less. That's a four. That's what we like to see. That's what we like to see up in here. I don't miss. I don't miss. Say less. Say less. Thank you. 
Oh, he's huge. Oh, my. He's a big boy. Hold his head up for me, dude. Huge. This trip was more than just a hunting trip. It was about reconnecting with one of my closest friends and meeting his young son. It was about the three of us spending time together in the great outdoors. It was about watching a father and son strengthen an already incredible bond the two of them have. It was a very special trip on many, many levels. Yeah. I can't pay him. I'm too, I'm too lightweight. Yeah, dad, dad. Just trying to keep my blood for the picture. I'm too lightweight. Right there, dude. <laughs>